The men start with 315. We go all the way up to 385 unless we need maybe another barbell or two. The tie break weight moves up to 295 pounds. The eighth event for the men. It is the clean inside the Coliseum at the Alliant Energy Center. And this crowd, hopefully they have a lot left in the tank to cheer these men through this event. Noah Olsen, your overall leader, 589 points. He's 55 points up on Matt Fraser and 91 points up on Jordan Carl Rubens. The roof on this building might come off if yeah. that happens. Saxon Panchik is first up to 315. There it is. And he will hit that. So what, if there's any situation better set up for something like that lift, this is it. 315 for Moonville. There it is. And that will count. Two for two so far here on the opening barbell. Please welcome Will Morad to the platform. And now Will Morad, first time he's been to the CrossFit Games since 2014, and here he is in the final 10. Best finish was fifth in the sprint. Worst finish, 46th in second cut. Okay. So, I thought I saw this after the sprint. And I, I think on that final sprint, Morad might have tweaked something. Here comes Matt McLeod. First appearance at the CrossFit Games. That'll go for the Australian. We like to have our athletes rest two, two and a half, three minutes, maybe max, and that's it. If you're resting a lot longer than that and you're not used to that, then it can, it can play havoc with you. 315 for James Newberry, and he will hit that. James Newberry, ladies and gentlemen. Now, Jacob Hepner. Good to see him back here at the CrossFit Games. He's been absent for a couple of years and making a triumphant comeback here in 2019 he steps up to the 315 pound bar his first lift of the event it's a good effort and Hepner will stick that Panchik has been to the games multiple times has never been able to get himself onto the podium and that's no problem for Panchik Great speed through the middle there. Uh, of all the athletes so far, Scott's the only one that's shown me that there's a lot of speed through the middle there. And that was very easy for him. And now here comes Bjorgen Gubinson at 315. Bjorgen Gubinson in third place overall. Like the wide grip here. Look at those elbows come around fast. Well, Gubinson hits that easily. Yep. No problem. Very efficient. Carl here comes Matt Fraser. Second place, just 55 points back of Noah Olson. I love the way he gets set up just like a weightlifter does. And that is simply achieved for Matt Frazier. <laughs> There's Noah Olson who's trying to finish on the podium for the first time in his career. His best finish two years ago. He was one spot out when he finished fourth overall. That's good for Noah Olson. And we mentioned before about mistakes costing him in that fourth place finish in 2017. If not for that performance in the 2 2 2 3 intervals, Noah Olson is probably on the podium that year. 100%. Here comes Matt McLeod. I think McLeod on that last one, he went pretty wide with his feet. I think he's got, to me, it looked like he might have something done a uh, little bit wrong with his left knee, too. It looked, looked like he was favoring it just a little bit. 335 for one of those two Australians here in the top 10, Matt McLeod, and he gets pinned and won't be able to stand that up, but he has time to make one more run. McLeod won't be able to hit it, and he will bow out. Here comes James Newberry.
Newberry trying to bounce his way up. Oh, wow. And he will win that. So Newberry gets in a fight with a barbell when he <laughs> takes that round, and he'll stay alive. And a little look of relief as he walks back to the chairs. <laughs> So it's always fun to feed off the crowd. We it have is, one yeah, here. We got our own crowd in the in the, the rogue tent. Here's Jacob Hepner at 345. Hepner won't oh. be able to make it. He has time for another run, but I don't know if he has enough left in the tank. The crowd is trying to will him back to that barbell. Nope. Not going to happen for Jacob Hefner. And we're now down to seven. So Hefner, if everyone else succeeds, he's going to take eighth in the event. <laughs> Gumason, Fraser, and Olsen. The last three lifters here at 345 before we move to 355 pounds. And Gumason calling for a little crowd support. Three forty-five for Bjorn Carl Gumanson. Oh, I don't know nice. if we needed the crowd on that one. You, you got to save those. Middle. You got to save those waves. <laughs> you, hit, you hit the nos a little early. <laughs> Two lifters remain as Matt Fraser comes up to three forty-five. And there was an audible murmur that just passed through the crowd here inside the rogue tent as he stepped up to the to the barbell. I feel bad for that platform if he wins this event. <laughs> Let's see how durable that thing is. 345 for Fraser. Easy day for Matt Fraser. Ooh. Oh yeah. And there's a little bit of a stare as he exits oh, the platform. Yeah. So Matt Fraser trying to send a message here yeah. and win his second straight event. And he is pumped up as he comes back to Bjorn Carl Gubitz. Here comes James Newberry who struggled with 345. Now 10 more pounds, 355 his first attempt. Uh, Newberry doesn't seem like he has enough in the tank. The crowd doesn't want him to quit. Newberry's going to make one more run at 355. <laughs> and he just doesn't have anything left in the tank. It's a great effort from James Newberry. This certainly was not a wheelhouse event for him. No, but it, uh, I mean, that's a great finish. Absolutely. It's not a wheelhouse. So he's going to take seventh in the event as we are now down to six lifters. That's unless no one else bows out here. Scott Panchik now at 355. Oh, man. That is smooth for Scott Strong. Panchik. Strong and fast. Very efficient. Three lifters remain, Jorben Carl Gumanson, Matt Fraser, and Noah Olson. Gumanson going to the crowd again here. I don't know, and again, I don't, on the last lift, he didn't need I him. would have had the crowd going at 215, right? So what, who am I to say? <laughs> hey, if they're there, you may as well use them. 355 for Gumanson. Yep, come on. And Gumanson wow. stands that up, and he will live to fight another day. Tell you what, to get that buried in the squat that far back and to stand up the way he did, he's got some strong legs under that bar. That guy is strong. Here comes Matt Fraser. 355 on the barbell. Fraser in second place overall. 55 points back of Noah Olson. And that goes up quickly. <laughs> Matt Fraser said he's going to try and win them all, and he keeps that up. He might get a second straight victory here at the 2019 Reebok CrossFit Games. Now here comes Noah Olson, yeah. final lifter at 355. That was Matt Fraser, the weightlifter right there. No question about that. 355 pounds for the overall leader, Noah Olson. This is going to be a big one for Noah. Look 
And Olsen will hit that. The question is, oh, by how much? Saxon Panchik steps up to 365. 365. Come on. And Saxon still fighting it. Won't be able to hit it, but he still has a little more time. But as we've seen, the second attempts usually don't go well because those first attempts take so much. Let's see how he does with a screaming crowd at the Coliseum at the Alliant Energy Center behind him. Panchik underneath it, but won't be able to hit the lift. And he will... There comes that time where it's just too heavy. It was just a month ago, he actually hit 370 as a PR. So you're talking really? about 365, 99.1%. I mean, after all those lifts. All the, after all the other stuff he's yeah. done. We're so. down to five in Saxon Panchik right now. If no one else bows out, would finish six overall. All right, Adrian Moonvile, 365. Wow. And he will make that. <laughs> See strong. Man. Wow. <laughs> strong. I mean, that's strength overcoming technique there. Almost. Oh, God. It, it is strong. He is the Icelandic national champion. He finished second overall in the world wide open behind Matt Fraser. Gubinson coming in in third place overall. 36 points back of Matt Fraser for second place. 365 for Gumanson. And on, Bjorkman on, is on, fighting on, it, and he will stand it up. And the Icelandic contingency in the crowd loves that, as Gumanson is going to make it to the next round. Two lifters remain, Matt Fraser and Noah Olsen. We have five remaining in the competition. count for Matt Fraser. Okay, Matt's going to become a weightlifter now again. <laughs> if Bjorgen Carl Goodmanson doesn't ask for the skull clap <laughs> before his final bar, <laughs> we will have missed a grand opportunity. That is all I'm going to say. That would have been a lot of fun to see, but maybe we will see it. Here comes Noah Olsen now at 365, final lifter to go at this weight. Just three barbells remaining. Planned barbells remaining, I should say, after this. 365 for your overall leader. Olsen fighting it, and he won't hit it. Now keep in mind, if he bows out here, he's got to do a tiebreaker with Saxon Panchik. He will still have the overall lead. But Matt Fraser now has the opportunity to cut into that significantly heading into the final day. So Olsen's going to call it quits. And now we're going to have a tiebreaker between Olsen and Saxon Panchik. So it's either sixth place or fifth place for Noah Olsen as four men remain. It's going to be Noah Olsen versus Saxon Panchik here in the tiebreak. Fifth place on the line. 60 points for fifth, 50 points for sixth. First to five reps at 295. Oh. Olsen hits his first, Panchik hits his first, both right back on the barbell. Jeez. Olsen choosing to power clean that, both through two. Panchik hits three, Olsen will power clean three. Saxon's faster on the squat. That's four for Panchik, four for Olsen, one rep remains. It's gonna come down to the sprint to the finish line. Oh. Both have the barbell oh. down, here we go! Oh. It's Olsen oh, by oh, three one-hundredths oh, of a God. second. Wow. Keep that in mind tomorrow because that means that Matt Fraser won't be as close as five points. Those points are going to be huge maybe for Noah Olsen. Three one-hundredths of a second. Holy cow. Was that amazing? So now... We are up to 370 pounds. Adrian Moonviler, four men remain. Oh, this is fun. 
I love this stuff. Put your hands together, oh, oh, yeah. And just won't be able to yeah. complete that lift. So Moonbiler is going to take fourth place, assuming. Panchik, Gumitson, and Fraser hit this lift. We are now down to three. Here comes Scott Panchik, and now it's all business for him. First attempt for Scott Panchik, 370 pounds. Up. Yes, yes. Panchik will stand it up, and he stays alive. I don't know what's louder, the Coliseum or this place right now. I mean, it's <laughs> nice to have these people here. It helps you feed I off know, the I energy. Like I mean, I it's missing out. I wish people could see this. It is literally like a sports bar in here right now. No one is looking at any of the stuff that Rogue has for sale. They're all just sitting down watching the giant screen. And, and fans around the, the campus here are just trying to find a way to watch this thing. And we're glad that these, these fans are here right now. Now Gooman's in at 370. Doesn't look like it's going to go for Gumanson, so we're going to have another tie break as we're down to the final two. Matt Fraser is going to be the last one to go, but we're going to have a tie break between Moonbiler and Bjorven Carl Gumanson for third place. Fraser! It's going to be Fraser versus Panchik if Fraser hits this lift. Oh gosh, he looks so angry. <laughs> it's all business. Yes. Stay Fraser at 370, and he has the whole crowd behind him. Up, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh, Fraser will stand oh, it up. Oh, it's going to be Panic versus Fraser for the win. 295, five reps for time. The last tie break came down to a slide across the finish line. Gumanson will hit his lift, as will Moonviler, and they are dead even after one rep. Second rep good for Moonviler. He's power cleaning this. Moonviler third rep. Gumanson through three. That's four for the Swiss national champion. Four for Gumanson. Moonviler will hit that, and Adrian Moonviler is going to take third. Gumanson will finish in fourth. down to the final two. Scott Panchik. Thought Matt Fraser thought was going Scott in for the handshake. handshake. He wanted the chalk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Uh, I'm not shaking your head. Uh, here's Fraser's last lift at 370. I love the fact he's still got a hook grip on that bar. Now we're down to the final two. Scott Panchik up first. 375 on the barbell. If Scott's just got to keep his technique like he had on the last one. Panchik is there. under it. Panchik will stand it up. And Scott Panchik hits 375. I said for Scott, he's, just, he's so strong. So he has the legs underneath the bar that he needs. He's got to keep that bar close to him. Now, for Fraser, I want to see is that he had a bobble in the last one, but I think it was, it was a more of a technical flaw than a strength flaw. Yep. Now to 375 for Matt Fraser. Go, go. And oh, Fraser yeah. will hit go. that. There it is. Yeah, there we have it. And this heavyweight slugfest <laughs> will continue, and I think that look says it all. On uh, Scott Panchik, we're like, really, seriously, we're going to do some more of this? Yeah. 380 pounds. Man. Panchik and Fraser for the event win. 
What's going through these guys' minds right now, Coach? Well, I really like what Panchik's doing. He's just sitting down there. He's not panicking. He's just kind of holding it within. And Frazier's like the gorilla that's staunch, uh, you know, stalking the platform. <laughs> he wants to get up there and lift. you got two different types of getting yourself ready type thing before you lift. I prefer Panchik's mode a little bit better because you still got to just gather all the energy that he can to put forth on the platform. I Scott Pants is going to overtake Bjorba Gubinson for third place. I have never seen Scott look like that. I, had, I haven't either. This is incredible. 380 pounds. The crowd on its feet for Scott Panchik as he makes his first attempt. No. Nope. And won't be able to get that. He's coming about 10 seconds in. Panchik has a chance to make another try, but the way that... the last few. Trying to grip and rip. Instead the way the that bar, bar went position. up there, I'm not sure he's got enough in the tank here. The worst he can do is second place. One more try. No, I wouldn't and Panty do it. just no, isn't having that's it. That's a smart move right there. Now he's got to hope that Matt's going to miss it as well. Then there'll be a liftoff, right? He would go to a tiebreaker. Fraser misses this lift. So Matt Fraser for the event win. He wants to walk off. Yeah. 380 for the three-time champ. He hits this, he wins the event. Up, oh, come on, Matt. Oh, yes! Matt oh. is still yes. Matt Two straight wins. And strap in, everybody. Sunday is going to be a blast at the CrossFit Games. <laughs> Holy cow, that's Matt Frazier, the weightlifter. Amazing. How do you hit a walk-off home run at the CrossFit Games <laughs> just like that? Exactly. So much speed through the middle there, and he was able to pull himself right into that good front squat position. This room is fired up. I'm fired up. You are still fired up. What was going through your mind when you dropped that? 380 pound barbell. I did not want to race Scott on some power cleans, so I figured I better make this now. <laughs> you said you were coming out here to win this event, and that's exactly what you did. Moving forward, what is your attitude like toward the rest of the weekend? Oh man, I was nervous about this. Uh, I was putting all my chips on the table. The most I've cleaned in the last year is 345. So thank you guys for getting that hype going. Yes. That was amazing. You're doing exactly what you need to do to close that gap between you and that first place spot. It's a position you haven't been in in a while. I mean, does that affect you? Does that affect your mentality at all? No, not really. I mean, it is what it is. You know, I had a couple shit events and um, just putting all the chips on the table. Let's, let's go. Let's have a good last day. Absolutely. Making moves. Congratulations. Thank you. Matt Fraser is not going to go down without a fight. Noah Olsen is still your overall leader, but Matt Fraser is gaining ground. Olsen finishes fifth. Fraser with another event win, his fourth of the competition. Scott Panchik will take second. Adrian Moonbiner, a surprise third place finish as he outbounded.